What's up guys? Today, I am joined by that API guy, Vivek Bavishi. He's gonna help me connect my YouTube channel to my WordPress blog. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back. I am joined today again by that API guy, Vivek Bavishi. What's up, bro? How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's always great to have make a video with you. Always, always a pleasure for me too. So, so for those of you guys who don't know, Vivek has joined me on the channel before. He showed us how to connect Flow and Siri together, which I'm actually very proud to report. That video spawned some very cool activity in the community. I've seen some great examples of people taking that and running with it and creating case management and all sorts of cool stuff. But today, I actually threw this challenge out because I needed some help. And, uh, and you know, sometimes I got to lean on my community too, right? Right, Vivek? Oh, yes, definitely. Right. And so I reached out to the Flow fam and I said, yo, Flow fam, I want a Flow that when I post a YouTube video every Monday and Tuesday like I do, I want a blog post on my blog to automatically be made. Okay? Yeah. Like, doesn't that, that's a great problem, right? That's a great Flow to yes, have made. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's for SEO, really, because I want to help my Google rank power. And so through YouTube, that's one way. But now if I have a website that has all the same keywords and titling pointing to this video, double the SEO power. Of course. Yeah. 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 Okay. And so I put out the call and Vivek said, yo, I got this. Let's make a video, John. We'll do it. Uh, we had a first iteration try with a, a, a WordPress plugin that, that wasn't very helpful to us because the added challenge here is I'm on self-hosted WordPress. If we were on WordPress.com or WordPress.org or whatever it is, yeah. we could just use built-in actions, yep. but I'm self-hosted. Okay, so that's enough about the problem set up. Vivek solved this. Vivek, go ahead, take it away, bro. Share your screen and show us a little bit about you and then how you actually made this happen. All right. Thanks, John. Thank you for having me. It's always, uh, as I said, it, it's always great to work with you. My so, pleasure. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, is my screen visible? I got it. Yep. All right. Okay. So as John kind of described the, the problem, uh, I quickly go through first introducing myself and then we quickly jump on to solving it. So a little bit about myself. I'm a digital customer experience manager. Uh, that's my day job. I work at a company called Rio Deloitte. Uh, I'm a user group leader at the Cincinnati Power Apps and Flow user group. So if you are on the area, please uh, join us. I'm power addicted to Power Apps and Flow for almost three years now. It's, it seems like it was just yesterday, but it's been almost three years. Can you believe I'm that? Lies, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also a business applications MVP that was a recent, uh, I guess, March uh, 2019 uh, development. So happy to kind of become uh, an MVP. Yeah. And uh, if you need to follow me, uh, I make blog posts, I make uh, videos, uh, and I try to stay updated on my Twitter um, account as well. So that underscore API underscore guy on Twitter, that API guy on YouTube, and that API guy dot tech. Nice and easy. Go yep. follow him. It's it, he's right. great. Thanks, John. All right. So what are we trying to achieve? Um, it's as simple as this. You when John posts a YouTube video or when you are posting a YouTube video, you want to create a WordPress post for it. Yep. So that's what we want to build. Yep. Um, and John, as he said, why not use the WordPress connector? Because it's only if you are creating a blog and hosting it on WordPress.com. Yep. If you use so WordPress.com versus WordPress.org, people have some confusion around that sometime. But WordPress.org just gives you the whole, I would say, the template or the whole package to host it on somewhere else. Um, so John does that. He hosts it on a, on a self-hosted kind of um, on a different service. And yep. that's why it's kind of a bit tricky to connect to that API. And that's what we try to solve today. So one thing that we need for this is to install this plugin, which is uh, called JSON basic authentication. 
Um, now, one, it, it's on available on GitHub. We'll be putting the URL in the description as well. Um, so you can go ahead and download the plugin and install it in your uh, plugins data base or plugins directory in your WordPress blog. And then um, we'll show you how to create the, the flow out of it. Yep. And so, so this is to do some some uh, encrypted authentication that we need. That's right. Yeah. It, so you can do it without this if you are, I would say, if you know coding a lot and you can do something else, go ahead, do that. But this one, I myself, though I call myself that API guy, I just started learning APIs a year back. And I, yeah. I use it to how much I, I need it for. Yeah, so yeah. I found out something. John, he told me to make this. We did it in the past two, three days, and that's it. Yep. yep. So this so, is this is the citizen dev making it happen version. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I was telling somebody that uh, somebody people asking me about uh, uh, are you a citizen developer? Are you this? Are you that? I was like, I am. I mean, I'm a part of the generation of people who wants to get things done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's like all we that. need. Yeah. That's right. So, all right. So this is the flow. Okay. Um, it's it's a very simple flow, not a lot into it. Uh, and we'll go step by step so that it makes sense. Okay. Um, so the first thing that uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, the first thing that you need to do is have a trigger, which is uh, when a video is uploaded by a channel. So that's a YouTube trigger. Yep. You can um, there's a there's a when when I upload a video that that is also one of the trigger available. You can use that or you can use this, whichever kind of works for you. It's basically the same thing. Okay. Uh, here I'm specifying the channel ID. This is John, John's channel. Copy that one. You guys want to use this one too. <laughs> 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 now, uh, before we move on to this part of it, um, what I want to quickly show you is the, the plugin. Uh, okay. So this is the plugin. It's basically, I mean, it's available on GitHub, so um, you can go ahead and download it from there. So as you see here, what it tells us, it just allows you to do some basic authentication. So you can authorize uh, this API by putting like authorization, basic, and your username, password in a base64 encoding. And uh, that's it. I mean, that is how you authorize WordPress and tell them that yes, you are the user who wants to kind of make to interact with the API and do okay. something with it. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So it's just a way to send your login credentials to to the system to say, hey, hey, yeah, this is me. I'm an authorized person who wants to make that's this right. post. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that, that, that's that's uh, that's what we need to do now. Some people might uh, kind of think, oh, is this secure enough or not? But if your blog is an HTTPS, yep. you shouldn't worry about this. Yep. And John says it is. So it wasn't. It wasn't, but it is now. <laughs> it is now. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go back into the flow. And uh, so the the other thing that we're doing, so user credentials. I'm not going to open that, but it's just a base64 encoding. So you need to use the base64 function. Um, Actually, I won't hover over it, but yeah, it's the base64. You put your, uh, as you see here, username, colon, password, yep. and put it in single quotes and put base64 around it. So that's okay. it. Okay. That would create your base64 encoded string. Awesome. And uh, the next thing, we want to create a new WordPress post. Um, and to do that, you need to kind of access that endpoint so every api has different endpoints like do you want to get the post do you want to make a post do you want to update a post um, so in this case we want to create a post yep so that's why we are using the method post it's generally for kind of creating something new yep. and this is the url so this is john's website url followed by wp json slash wp slash v2 slash post and if you thought this was too much to kind of see, you can just go to this URL, which again we'll put in the description. Um, this is the API reference index. So you can just click on reference, post, and it tells you what all do you need uh, to create a post. Nice. So, that's, so 
So the date, title, content, what all things you need for the post, that's what we're going to use and uh, create a post with it. Okay. So uh, let's jump back to the flow. Um, that was the URL. I have the headers here. So this is the authorization that you need to do. So authorization, that's your uh, key. And then um, the uh, value is basic with a uppercase B space and your output from this user credential kind of basic or encoded string. Okay. Uh, and uh, the content type, that's just to let uh, this request know that it was if making a JSON over here basically yep. uh, by giving this data title. That's a content type of application JSON. Okay. And here now we are describing what we what all I mean attributes do we want for that post? So they, yeah. So it looks like yeah. in the step above the content type, you're telling it that in the body you're going to expect JSON, and now here right. in the body you're yep. defining the JSON schema of how to tell all of the steps inside of that WordPress API, like, hey, here's the date info I want yeah. to pass. Here's yeah. the title info I want to pass. Yep. Cool. So a lot okay. of APIs generally work with JSON very nicely. So nice. JSON, I mean, if people are afraid of it, it's just a table. It's just a, a bit of a coding way to describe a table, I would say. You have yeah. two curly braces, and then you put all the values within double quotes. You have a key. It's basically a key value pair. That's it. Yep. So the date. Um, so we got this from the YouTube. Uh, the the trigger. So the U YouTube trigger kind of gives you all these things. Uh, the video ID, summary, description. It also gives you channel title and all that stuff as well. Nice. Uh, the publish date, time, and the web link as well. So in here we took the the date time, the published date time. Yep. Uh, we took the title uh, of the video, and then for the content part, now the content would be just a description. But then what we wanted to do in the post was to add the video in itself again. Yeah. Yeah. So that the video shows up, and then the description shows below that. Yes. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, so then that way in the post you get the embedded video and then the the description I made on YouTube actually gets injected as the body of that post yeah. which comes below the video. That's right. So that's, that's amazing. That's exactly what I asked for. Like like if if I could have drawn a perfect specification of what I was looking for, mm -hmm. that's he just nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Uh so what we did was again uh and this is a combination of the description and the the embed code. Now, if you're thinking, oh, how do I create this embed code? Just go to your YouTube video. Uh, there's a share option, and within the share, there's an embed option. It gives you the code. You just need to copy paste it. Yep. The only thing so, that we, yeah. You know what? Ahead. You know what I'd love if we could do actually, um, Vivek. Let's go ahead and take this code. And we'll just paste it in the description as well of the video so that if people want to go ahead and copy this method, they could just sure. go ahead and copy that expression and paste it in and, and put their own URLs in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. We could definitely cool. do that. Yeah. Sweet. And uh, the only thing we changed here was uh, instead of putting the ID uh, kind of static ID, we took the ID dynamically from this uh, the trigger that we had here. So. You see here we concatenated the trigger a body ID. So we paste this expression in the as John said in the description, and you can kind of play around with it in your own flow. Yeah. So what we did there is now instead of like taking one specific video and posting it, now it's gonna take whatever video triggered the flow and post it. So this will now work dynamically. Once once this gets set up once, I won't have to come back and mess with this again. It will just go ahead and generate the latest video into my latest post automatically. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> it's going to save uh, me so much time and it's going to do such wonders for my SEO. Oh, of course. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, that's uh, so that was data content status. We put it as draft just for this video. But yep. there's different types of uh, statuses, so you can put it as uh, what is published. Yeah, publish, future, draft, pending, private. 
whatever makes sense for you. And awesome. John is probably just going to publish it directly. Uh, but yeah, you can decide. And you can also decide the format of the post if you have different types of formats that you use. Again, yeah. that is also available here. All right, all that awesome. is left today, I mean left now, <laughs> is to test it. Let's see this baby in action. <laughs> just that. All right, uh, we could just test it. We... Yeah, let's test it. I yeah. just uploaded a video like five minutes ago, and, yeah. uh, and we tested this previously to make sure our demo would work when we did a video. And so now we're going to go ahead and show you how this all works. So you can see here, he resubmitted the flow. It runs successfully. And if you see the output of here, you'll see, yes, it created a new post with a new ID. And it did all the other things. Uh, you can get all the different uh, kind of, let's say, values for it. But yeah, let's go to John's uh, okay. all posts here. And as you saw, we, we did a, a test. That yep. is our first one. And this was the one which we just created. Boom. So it came up twice. Boom. And click into it. Yeah, Let's see click here. Into it. And this is the description. And so and there we uh, see uh, the iframe yeah. video on top of the description. Oh. All right, yeah, we got yeah. it. And it's a beautiful video as well. <laughs> Yeah, this was uh, this is actually uh, from a video I did last week. I got a new Jeep. I went and shot this 4x4 off-road ah. video that will come out in a few weeks. Uh, but this was from that day. It was rainy. It was moody. It was awesome. All right. Dude. So, got it working. Vivek, this is the coolest thing ever. Like, this is going to save me so much time. This is going to raise my SEO game. And not only that, like imagine all the other YouTube creators who spend all this time double posting, right? And mm -hmm. like now they can also take advantage of this amazing connection. And, and it was only like five steps. Yeah, yeah. It's it's actually four. I mean, it's not even, I mean, the, <laughs> yeah, it's less than five. Yeah, so it's it's pretty simple to do it. Once you figure it out, it's not that difficult. And yeah, you can automate so much out of it, right? Dude, man, Vivek, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate you taking on the challenge and completing it in like yeah. under three days. Like monster, monster props, man. Huge. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's always fun. It's always fun to work on something interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, you know what to do. I got all of Vivek's information down in the description. Go get subscribed to his channel. Go follow him on YouTube. Check out his blog. Go check out the Siri video that he did previously. Get all up in his business. He's doing great stuff. Vivek, yeah. thanks for joining us as always, man. Sure, yeah. Thank you for having me. All right, guys. That wraps it up. Vivek, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for helping me put more things into my blog because now every week I'll have two blog posts. This is going to help my SEO. It's going to help my Google search rankings. It's going to help more people see my video. So I appreciate you taking the time to figure out how to do this, to help me wire it together, and of course to show the community also how to do it. So if you want to connect your YouTube channel to your WordPress, you now know how. So two things, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel so that you get more videos like this all the time. But also down in the description, I'm going to put a link to Vivek's channel. Go subscribe to Vivek's channel. He does stuff like this all the time. You don't need me to host him every time to check out his goodness. So go do that. All right, guys, that's it. I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Much love from me. I'll see you in the next video.